Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Hunter and today I've got a tour of a pretty awesome fifth wheel for you. This is the 2023 Sierra 3440BH and what makes this so special? It's got a bath and a half, two queen beds and a loft so it sleeps a ton and it sleeps a ton comfortably. Plus it's not overwhelmingly huge. I think you guys are gonna love it. You can find specifications for this unit down in the description. Things like length, weight, tank size, all that stuff that I'm not smart enough to remember. And of course, I am in a sales position here at RV Nation in Ohio. If you guys are in the market, check out my contact information down there as well. Text line, email, all I ask is for a chance at your business. I work for a place that allows me to sell these for extremely cheap and we are able to beat other dealerships, even shipping them out nationally. So uh, I'd love an opportunity. But again, it's the 2023 Sierra 3440BH. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. It is oh, absolutely beautiful out. It's only about 75, so I shouldn't be sweating too bad in this thing. But since this does have two queen beds and that bunk room is going to be the you know bedroom up front, kitchen slide, big bunk room with the extra bed, figured I'll start in the back and then work my way forward. And if you guys like RV videos or like what I'm doing here, if you guys could take your time and uh, or take the time to hit that like and subscribe button for me, you know, I would greatly appreciate it. If you guys stuck around maybe for another video here or there. But I'm going to walk right through the living room, straight into the bunk room. But first, I just want to show you this. This thing has the wow factor. Absolutely beautiful. I love the Sierra line and what they're doing. Nice lighting fixtures, good fans, big open windows, a big old super slide. The opposing slide right here. The island with the accent lighting. Just a really sharp brand. But this is what makes it special in my eyes. So two bedroom RVs are hard to, you know, to come by. This is one of them. So it's got a queen bed here underneath. You got a loft up above. They use the kind of the loft entrance side, I guess I would call it, to house a whole bunch of storage. And then right over here to the left, you actually have a half bath. So you have your own dedicated restroom with its own dedicated door. So that way you can kind of, you know, get in and out. Maybe if you're getting muddy, getting dirty, you got a place where you don't have to track through the entire camper to get to. But so right here, you got yourself your queen bed. It opens up on the side. So you have a really good amount of storage here and some outside access as well. But a lot of storage, which is pretty rare for a queen bed, usually it's cut off kind of halfway. So you can only utilize, you know, about half of it. Let me fix that before the lady gets mad at me. Last thing I need to do is get grounded in my own darn home by her. An emergency exit right over there. So just pull that pin, push and pop and you get out. You're also going to see it has a nightshade. Now it is missing the banister right there we found a little something going on with it we just had to replace that but there is something that goes over that makes it nice a little bit more nicer and buttoned up little countertop space right here uh, with a little cubby you know for some extra storage i'd probably stack some books in there two outlets and then check this out this is pretty neat so right in here you have some really good storage space where typically there's not too much in these bunk rooms Little area for your hanging items. These are also soft clothes. Got the bowling arm. That bad boy's averaging a 200. If you haven't seen my videos before, definitely, uh, definitely like my bowling. And then right here, you're gonna have four pull-out drawers. So bada bing, bada boom. A little ladder that comes in and out, so you can actually lift this up and um, you know stow it away just like that or you know you can pull it out let it drop down so that way you can get up there you know just a little bit easier so a little bit of storage here on this far side you also have a couple outlets and then you have little windows here and here it's a really nice little area and then for some air circulation you do have a vent which you could put on a max air vent there if you wanted to, or, you know, maybe even drop in, you know, an extra AC or something like that, I would imagine. Two outlets, place for Sable, uh, Sable, blah, 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 geez, oh, Pete's. Satellite out, cable TV hookups. 
another window. So this is what's supposed to be above that one. Just the bar wasn't fitting right. But that's what it looks like. You see, you still got the, uh, the cloth there. And then you have right there. This is going to be your half bath. So plenty of room. You can sit down. You know, right there. Get real friendly with your neighbors. Hello, how are you? Doing my business. But I had somebody that actually requested I sit down on these for some reason. They wanted to see what it looked like with a bigger guy sitting there chilling. So hello. I do listen to recommendations. If you got any, make sure to drop them in the comments. Got some storage here. Another little outlet. And then you have a little bit of countertop space with a plumbed in sink back here. That pink stuff right there, it's winterized. And then underneath, you have some access to your plumbing. And then a little bit of storage as well. And again, soft close and soft close. So that's going to be a little bit of a higher end feature in the RV industry. Solid entry steps, which is always nice. You know, when you're coming in, you got something really sturdy plugged up against the ground. And then right here is going to be your light switch. And then the control for the max air vent, which is right there. So you hit on and then off. And just like that, you can keep that air flowing, you know, and you're good to go. I'll tell you, it's been so hot the past couple days. You can really tell this insulation works because it is probably about 105 in here. It is roasting. So this is going to be your main living room kind of hangout. It's going to be where you cook, sit back, relax on the rainy days, watch a little bit of a movie. You're going to have your Connex sound system, and that's got a couple different modes, A, B, and C. That's going to be inside, outside, and both sides. Little DVD player, USB port, aux port, all that good stuff with some built-in speakers. You also have the Greystone electric fireplace, 32 inches, puts out 5,500 BTUs of heat, which will more than heat up, you know, the entirety of this room on a chilly day, maybe 40, 45. I know we got you know, the Halloween, Thanksgiving season up, and that is going to save you quite a bit of money in propane, or really, you're not going to, it's going to save you propane uh, probably completely because you're not going to need to kick on the heat. All up and around the entertainment center, you're going to see you got, you know, some pretty good storage. So you got a lot of these little nooks, nooks and crannies, baby. Again, soft close. little bit of storage up here and that's going to be the same both left and right and then I misspoke earlier about another AC it would actually go um, you wouldn't put one in the back room you got one here and then you got one up in the bedroom now this slide so this living room has two opposing slides so you have this one which is going to be kind of your, your sleeper slide. You know, you got your pull-out sofa. You have your dinette, which I have set up in sleeping mode. You can also lift that up for an actual traditional, you know, like table and chair type situation. Well, booth and table. But, uh, yeah, you got that right there. That's just held down by two little metal poles you can stick down in there. Lift that up. You guys are playing some cards, you know, drinking a couple of drinks, having a good old time. But you got the cooking side over on this side. And what I like about this brand is, you know, you have the really nice high tall slides. So I'm six feet tall. Got a couple inches of headspace, six, you know, probably six, three or so, I would say. But what's nice about that is when you're going down to sit down on the couch, you know, unless you are a very large person, uh, you have no fear of bonking your head. And that's the worst, man. You're also going to get really big window areas. So you got this one absolutely massive window which is incredible. The only downside to it is it doesn't open up, but you do get your nightshade. And then they all come with the nightshades. This one right here, and then these two all open up for a nice cross breeze. You're also gonna see you got a little bit of lights underneath. And then above, you have some extra storage. And this has this nice little texture glass on there. And they all stay up there on their own. That goes all the way across, some good storage right here. Soft clothes, soft clothes. Big fan, big, big soft clothes guy. Right over here is going to be your island. 
And you'll notice that there is accent lighting down here, which is really nice for a nice ambient glow. When you're coming in, maybe to get a midnight snack, a drink, use the restroom, whatever it is that you're doing. You know, you're not waking people up by turning on all the lights. I do have the, um, the packing tape is still on here. We just got this in, Vina 2023. Um, haven't unloaded this yet, but let me pull that off real quick. Little cutting board cooktop, but it's a single uh, undermounted stainless bowl. Pretty good size. Got a high rise faucet. Doing those dishes. Let me put that back up. Got a little antifreeze there spilling out. And then underneath, you got a garbage can or some storage, some access to your plumbing. And then you have more access to that right there behind this panel. Three drawers right over here. So you got this top one. That one's going to be the same. And then you got the bottom one, which is a little bit larger. If you guys have made it this far, if you don't mind hitting that like and subscribe button, I would definitely appreciate it. Up top, you got these fancy looking light bulbs. And then over here, you have uh, one of the larger 12 volt refrigerators here in the industry. This is going to be the Everchill. So, it's, so 12 volt meaning it's going to run off of your battery, you know, off your truck while you're driving down the road. It's definitely more of a residential refrigerator, but it doesn't take pure campground electric. Just running off the battery, you know, does the trick when you're hooked up to your truck, maybe parking overnight, you can still keep everything cool and come in and get what you need. And you also have a freezer section. Uh, new to 2023 as well. They do have the tire pressure monitoring system on here, which is pretty awesome. If you guys haven't you know, looked at what this does. It actually has a pretty good amount of features on there. I would highly encourage you uh, to uh, look it up. But basically, you can check your temperatures, if there's too much pressure, too low pressure, if it's getting too hot. It's just a really nice safety item to have. You know, you don't have to worry about, you know, blowouts, really. All right, so right over here, this is what we're looking at. That's a tire cover. I haven't uh, put that one on yet, but it's a little bit dirty, so I took it off to, to get her cleaned up. Good little pantry with some LED lights. And then right behind here is a place where you can access you know, some of your electrical housings, which is always uh, a plus in your plumbing for you know maybe the, uh, the shower or something like that. I'd have to look back there. I don't know why I acted like I knew what that was. I'm not really sure what's behind there, but I know it is for maintenance. And I'll find out. Maybe I'll drop it in the comments. This is going to be your control for your heat and AC. Here are your outlets. They also went ahead and added in the Furion uh, gas water heater, which if you're not familiar with that, it's basically uh, super quick, super efficient, nearly endless. Thing just goes on and on and on. It actually has a setting, temperature setting at the beginning of like 120 degrees and you can adjust that here, but this thing gets incredibly hot, incredibly quick. It's almost instant hot water. Four drawers, top three being a little bit smaller. So they're all gonna be that size. And then the bottom one being a little bit bigger. And then right there, a little bit more storage. Right next to the door, you got your fire extinguisher. And now we're heading up the stairs. fuse box this is going to be your control center so right here black and gray tank black one black two you can check how uh, how full they are you, know, you can see everything is nice and empty uh, just got this in from the factory heated holding tanks and then your water pump so that heated holding tank is nice because it extends your camping trips later into the season you know if it's 10 degrees or so you pop that on really anytime when you're freezing you pop that on it'll keep all your lines warm so that way you know things aren't breaking on you awning porch ceiling hallway extend your awning here's all your slide out controls this is for your fan so you can power that up i do like how they went ahead and added in you know a pretty sturdy little hand railing there then right here is the bathroom so there's two entrances to the bedroom 
you have right here and then you got right there so you kind of got the the master suite feel going in obviously you can close it off lock it off and all that but it's pretty nice to have two entrances that way your guests aren't coming in you know or you don't have to come out to see your guests just to use the restroom they're using a corner uh, radial shower So you got that, you got the old push mount throne right there. Little tower, uh, tower. Little towel rack, another Max Air fan. Pretty good counter space. You also have a couple outlets. This is gonna be your lights on and off. And this is control for the Max Air fan. So on, if you can hear that, and off. All right, into the bedroom, another queen bed. So two queen beds in this. You got one up here and one back there, both side left and right. Left side's behind that plastic that I'm gonna tuck in in a second. And then this side right here, you got yourself two USBs and two outlets. And you also have some storage right there as well. Emergency exit. It also opens up to make a nice cross breeze. And then you got your uh, your blind to block out the sun. Above and around the entire bed, you got plenty of storage. So this is gonna go, you know, the entire length there that way. And then you have two of these, you know, one on either side. So just like this on both sides. Central vac system right down here. Forgot to show you that, but you can buy a hose connection so that way you can sweep this area up. Another control for your second AC. Aux satellite TV and the outlets. You can put a TV backer uh, right here. That way you can watch some TV in bed. Going to the bathroom here. So right there you got these cubbies. And what makes this bedroom feel a little bit less cramped is you got this closet that's out on a slide, which is nice. Anything you can do to get a little bit of extra storage is the way to go in RVs. And then in here, you're gonna have your little dresser. So this is gonna be four of these drawers. And Dennis, at this point, if during this video you could hear me breathe, I do apologize. He made a comment for my health concerns. He said I need to do some. He said I think I think he said something along the lines of, "You need to lose some weight and do some cardio." It sounds like you're two breaths away from a heart attack. But I will tell you, I've got one left at least, so we're good. So Dennis, that's for you, bud. Hope you're having a wonderful day. All right. So I think that about wraps up the inside portion of this tour. Again, it was the 2023 Sierra 3440B8. So now I'm going to take just a couple moments here on the outside, show you a couple things. I appreciate everybody watching. Hit that like and subscribe a Rooney for me. So again, dual entry. Both of them come with the solid surface or solid entry steps. And these are the easy lift ones. So if you lift it up, you can go like that and it'll stand up there right on its own so that we don't have to worry about bonking your head or, you know, maybe if you're not quite as strong, these things can get pretty heavy. You know, you don't have to worry about it slipping and getting hurt or anything like that. In addition to that, when they're set up even on both sides, let me get the camera working again. They are extremely sturdy, so a little bit nicer, you know, in kind of that inclement weather. Right here is going to be the pass through storage. You got a couple outlets and then a cable hookup right there. There's your battery disconnect and your little light. This also shows off the construction. You got some astrofoil and then you do have um, welded at all points. This is going to be your zone B. So that's going to be uh, you know your outside speakers. So two marine grade speakers with the blue glowing light. You also have a spray port with some access to some water and a couple outlets. You have a really nice size awning here with the LED strip there underneath. And of course you have the tinted out windows. Another thing I like that Sierra's doing, you have your actual, if you guys could hear that, hold on. You have your real slam latch doors. Hmm. 
That didn't work as planned, but that second one did. Tire pressure monitoring system. So the green cap means nitrogen fill, yellow cap means regular air, but you have your dual axle with your tire pressure monitoring system. Another Everchill refrigerator. This one is not gonna be 12 volts, so it will not work while you're driving down the road, but it does fit an enormous amount of apple juice. You have a swing arm grill that will come out to around to here, so that way maybe you can pull some burgers, something like that out of the refrigerator. Then you have the LP Quick Connect right where that blue cap is, so that way you can hook up the propane to that grill. You know, if we bring something else that needs propane, you got easy hookup right there. The Sierra has prepped for the Lippert ladder system. So you buy that online, you hook it up into those two little openings right there, and then you have a ladder to get on top of this fully walkable roof. It's also prepped for the Furion uh, S-Vision. So $550 installed, gets you a camera that you suction cup onto your windshield, so that way you can see what's going on behind you with some distance markers, making things a little safer, a little easier. Another spare tire with a bumper. This is going to be your 50 amp plug-in. This was the storage that went underneath that queen bed there back in that bunk room. And I like how they do have the magnetic latches. Just makes life a little bit easier. Right here is going to be your sewer dump. your fresh water drain and low point drain. And then your other dump valve is gonna be right there. This is the back end of that Furion hot water system. And then here's the other side of your pass through storage where you're gonna see the solar charge controller is nice and working. By the way, I didn't even jump up my junk box. This is going purely off of the solar, which is pretty cool. And then you have your electric leveling. So this is gonna be an auto level. So one click of a button and you can level out this camper. It also has a setting where you can uh, you can set it so that way it remembers how high your truck was to make setting it up that second time, you know, that much easier. This is going to be your docking station. So you have your water filter over here to the right. You have your black tank flush and your gray valves right there. You also have your, um, I'm sorry, black valve, gray valve, black tank flush. If you're not familiar with that, that's going to be like a sprinkler system there uh, for your sewer tank. You're also going to have an outside shower with access to hot and cold water, which is nice. Cable satellite TV, rear satellite, satellite main, satellite front. So a whole lot of TV going on. You also have all your valves for, you know, your winterization, city water, dry camping, you know, all that. And a second black tank flush for your second tank. And there is a light that I should have turned on at the beginning. Right here's the tag. So coming in, 11,361 dry. Again, this was the 2023 Sierra 3440BH. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope to see you guys around next time. Have a great day. See ya.